Happy Friday, everyone. God bless you for joining with me again for prayer again this morning. And uh, we're looking forward to hearing great reports of the things that God is doing through our prayers. And we do have many things to pray about. I do want to quickly share a praise report with you. Um, last Sunday, uh, I told the church that I had uh, planned a missionary service for this weekend. And um, this was on short notice. I usually don't do that. But I felt an internal prompting to schedule this missionary service at the last minute. And uh, it was really a bad time to do that financially for the church. Not that we were experiencing financial difficulties, but there are just certain times that uh, things kind of happen all at once. And it was just a time the, the quarterly insurance payment was due and all those kind of things kind of coming together at once. So it was just kind of a tight, a tight moment and something that I would normally think that's not wisdom, you know, to do something extra on top of that. Uh, but I did it because I felt in my spirit to do it. And um, then this week, um, one of the men in our church contacted me and said that um, he had talked to his wife Sunday about it. He felt that they needed to um, support the missionary service and asked me how much it cost to, to have the service to support the missionary. And so I told him the amount. He said, well, he said, uh, we sold a vehicle and uh, we want to pay that entire amount to take care of the missionary service. So that just shows the way the Lord works. And of course, they will be richly blessed for uh, their effort for the kingdom as well. So our God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And someone said he owns the potatoes under the hill too. And I thoroughly am persuaded of that today. Uh, so when we bring our needs to the Lord this morning, we can rest assured that when we come to him in faith, God is going to hear and answer our prayers. Uh, we do need to pray this morning for peace and comfort for families who have lost a loved one dear to them in recent days. Uh, remember the Vanover family, uh, the Nelson family. Um, remember Kaylee and her family, each of these uh, mourning recent losses. We have many spiritual and family needs to keep praying about. Uh, let's keep praying for um, families to uh, come to truth, um, for our Mingo RCF residents, our Job Corps students, uh, recovery ministries that are uh, ongoing all around us. And thank God for so many groups that have caught the vision for recovery ministry. We need to pray specifically for those who are battling addiction. Uh, I had a, a, a gentleman uh, speak with me just this week about an addiction that he's been battling for quite some time and asking for my help uh, to pray for him. And I believe God is going to deliver him. Uh, we need to pray for um, family situations. We have many families that are under great strain uh, pray for those who have mental, emotional, and spiritual need of healing today. Uh, pray for prodigals to return home. We're just believing God for a mighty revival in every community. And uh, we know that prodigals are going to be a large part of uh, this wave of God's um, spirit moving across the land. So let's keep praying for all of those needs today. Uh, let's lift up our North American and global missionaries. Uh, pray for all of our church planters. Uh, we want to focus our prayers on uh, a new Spanish work today in Burnsville, Missouri. This is a uh, suburb of St. Louis. St. Louis, if I can get my, uh, my words to form correctly here. Uh, the Marino family, a Spanish work in Burnsville, Missouri. Uh, let's lift them up today. Metro missionaries. Jerry and Ann West in D.C., um, Tim and Rachel Richmond in Detroit Metro. Let's pray for our global missionaries um, in Ukraine, the Tomyevs, the Pattersons in Germany, the Heishen family. Uh, remember uh, Joshua and Elena Tingley, who are currently on deputation and will be in service with us uh, this Sunday and uh, ministering in our section uh, throughout the next week. So let's pray for good success for them in all of their 
of services. Pray for persecuted believers in Papua New Guinea, Pakistan, Myanmar, India, um, Iraq, Iran, uh, Syria, and so many other places today. And sometimes we don't even uh, get the news out of, of what is going on because of the uh, intense persecution and the lack of willingness of our liberal news media to uh, mention anything on behalf of Christians, it seems like. So let's just continue to pray for these. God knows these situations, and we're believing for him to intervene to protect uh, our um, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ today. Uh, job situations we're praying about for Rose, uh, Josh, uh, those displaced by the uh, Tyson Foods plant closing in Dexter. Um, as of Monday, there'll be no activity there that will be shuttered for good. And so let's pray for each of those employees to find uh, new employment better than what they had before. We're praying for our military personnel and their families, our school systems in need of prayer today, those who are in nursing homes. We have several unspoken requests um, submitted by Cheryl Lachance, the Pulliams, Hannah, Rose Brown, uh, Tracy Powers, Jessica O'Hara, Lana Lane, Johnny Nelson's family, Rebecca Rush, and an unspoken need that Sister Judy has for her family. Uh, many health needs we're praying about today. Let's especially cover Meredith in prayer. She's dealing with a new uh, health diagnosis. Uh, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter suffering with autism. Uh, pray for Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, Marshall Link, Shirley Perkins, Sheila Sadler, Jessica O'Hara, Cheryl Lachance, Janet, Judy Williams' brother, Chris and Carrie Gregson, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Mara Sullivan, Michelle Clark, and Devin Huff. Uh, all needing a physical a touch of healing today. Pray for those with arthritis and mobility problems, those who are suffering with pain in their back, uh, Sally dealing with pain from a broken tooth. Uh, we're praying for those who are going through physical therapy right now and are need of, in need of pain relief. Uh, pray for those who suffer with dementia, uh, migraine headaches, uh, memory deterioration issues, liver problems, kidney issues, illness, Parkinson's disease, shingles, lung and respiratory problems, uh, those who are battling COVID and RSV, uh, those with heart problems, stomach issues, um, those who are battling diabetes, uh, many on our list who are uh, currently battling cancer and going through uh, chemo treatments, radiation treatments, Let's continue to lift up Darlin, Virginia, with their precautionary measures. Uh, let's pray for continued recovery for Pastor Chris Dew and Pastor David Kent, Anthony Sifford, Wayne Owens, Buddy Randolph, Billy Huey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Tina's mother, Johnny's nephew Joey, Sheila Sappington, uh, Sue's nephew Dwayne, Deidre Searfoss, Sarah Seaball, Sharon Birch, Seth, and Jasmine, uh, many children, needing our prayers today, along with those who have been on our list for quite some time. Uh, today we want to lift up again Jason, who had complications from a tonsillectomy uh, with two blood clots causing his brain to swell. Uh, so we're believing for a supernatural um, healing today for Jason and for these other children. We have several facing upcoming surgeries. Uh, Ginger Williams is having gastric bypass surgery and hernia repair on October the 10th. Arlo has a surgery coming up again at the end of October. Uh, Keith was having a tumor biopsy this week. Uh, Paul Swinney and Lois Link are facing back surgery. Eddie Potts will be having um, surgery on an open hip wound once he has his appointment with the plastic surgeon, uh, which is also coming up this next month. My Uncle John uh, is having triple bypass surgery today, so let's cover him in our prayers this morning. Uh, so many things to pray about uh, these areas that I did not mention uh, in detail. I will call those names out uh, in our actual prayer this morning, but for the sake of time, we just have to uh, move through the list rather quickly. Good morning to all of you. 
And uh, Dad is mentioning his brother John having the surgery today, which I just uh, brought to your attention. Good morning to you, Dad. Good to see Judy and Pam with us today. Marcia is with us, asking us to remember uh, her cousin Regina, who lost her son one year ago on September the 30th. So tomorrow is the uh, anniversary of his untimely death. And so we want to cover that family in our prayers as well. Jamie Joe, good to see you this morning. Sherman and Ben, thank God for both of you. Kristen, Terry, good to have you with us this morning. Uh, there are 12 of us currently online at the moment and others who will join with us throughout the day. What a good group uh, coming together for prayer this morning. Let's go to the word of the Lord, Psalm 87. Psalm 87 is where I'm reading from today. This is... Uh, a short psalm, uh, but a very powerful message that is in it. Uh, verse 1 says, His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. Salah. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there. Salah. As well the singers as the players on instruments shall be there. All my springs are in thee. Have you ever looked at a royal family and wondered what it feels like to be a part of something like that. I know recently there is a uh, coronation of King Charles, um, a change in the monarchy there in England um, after having the same leader, the same queen for such a long length of time. Um, none of us can remember it being any different in our lifetimes as far as who was leading uh, that uh, monarchy in Great Britain. And when you see all the pomp and the circumstance and you see how these people are held in such high regard by all of their subjects, you have to wonder what would it be like to have people constantly serving you to be part of a lineage that goes back many centuries. What is it like to have your family uh, to be part of the history books? It must feel crazy to know that uh, everyone wants to look at you and know everything about your life. Being born into royalty or into an esteemed family in any nation would give you advantages that other people do not have. People born into royal families uh, come into uh, rooms and know that they are wanted and that they belong. They know everyone wants to talk to them. And just think about... Uh, the idea of, of actually having that feeling even for one day. That's why so many people do anything they can to get what we call uh, their 15 minutes, 15 minutes of fame, just a little bit of recognition. Uh, how cool would it be if you won an award and everybody stopped to celebrate you? Most of us will never experience that. Uh, what if everywhere you went, someone wanted to take a picture with you? When this psalm was written, being born into the city of God was an honor for any Jew. But the real honor wasn't the heritage or the city. It was that God had established this city above others. This one and that one were born in her. And the Most High himself will establish her, the psalmist said. Today, the greatest honor and thing to celebrate is to be born into God's family, to be called a child of God. Our spiritual rebirth is eternal, and it gives us an identity which can never be taken away. Our new identity in Jesus Christ gives us security, hope, uh, real life, and confidence. And with this, we can walk into a room knowing that we are loved and celebrated by the God of the universe. We are eternal royalty in Christ Jesus, and we have status and confidence in him. Ask God to show you some of his characteristics that you carry into a room 
when you enter it. Remember who you are today. You are royalty because of your born again experience. Choose to walk in the confidence of who you are with him. And uh, I was just thinking of a scripture in the New Testament that tells us uh, of the people of God being unknown and yet known. And when I think of that, I think of the fact that we are unknown in this world, uncelebrated, but we are known in the heavenlies today. And uh, all of heaven stands at attention when we pray because we are part of this royal family. We have power with God as, as kings and priests. We have power today in this earth because we are a part of the kingdom that shall never, ever pass away. Aren't you thankful today for your status as a child of God? Amen. Let's use that status today for good. Let's affect our world today. Let's operate in confidence today, knowing who we are, not just for 15 minutes of recognition uh, at some point in our lives, but every day we are known of God and we are celebrated by the heavenly family today. Lord, we thank you for this word today of encouragement, of peace and strength today for your people. And I pray that each one of us would, would walk in that confidence, knowing that we are part of a royal family, the most preeminent family of all, because we are named by the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you glory and praise today. Hallelujah. Have your way through our prayers right now. Lord, there's so many that are in need of you today, and we pray your blessing and your help upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for those who have lost a loved one dear to them in recent days, that you would comfort their hearts this morning. We pray, Lord, for families that are struggling today. Lord, that you would reach down and minister to them. Hallelujah. Bless the Cummins family today. Lord, strengthen them. We pray your protection upon them. Traveling mercies as they're traveling to Tennessee this weekend. We pray for those who are struggling in their marriages. You see Brandon today and Carmen's concern for him. We pray for Shirley, who's struggling with thoughts of suicide. We lift up uh, Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa. Lord, deliver her, we pray, and heal her mentally and emotionally today as well as spiritually. God, continue to move in our Mingo RCF group, our Mingo Job Corps Center. Lord, we pray your, your will be done in these ministries. Lord, that doors would be open, God. Hallelujah for us to minister to the needs that are there. We pray. Uh, for Carmen, uh, for her friend David today, hallelujah, that he would return to you. We pray for Stephen and that you would move in his situation. We pray for Jessica's entire family today, God, that you would move on their behalf. We lift up Jean and Lexi. We pray for Regina's family, for Judy's grandson, for Beulah's granddaughter, for Jennifer and Brenda's family. We lift up J.R. and Destiny. We pray for Eva's children. They need you today, God. Move in Annette and Dave's life today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for the Bolin family, for Virginia and Jessica. We pray for these to reconnect, Lord, to the local church. We pray for Cheryl's family and friends to return to you. We pray for Mark and Caitlin today, and we lift up Matt and Michaela. Lord, you're able, God, to bring them in. We pray for the Sappingtons, for Debbie's family, for Mike and Judy's family today, for Pam's children and grandchildren. We lift up the Clark family. We pray for Marcia and Britt and their family, Lord. We pray, God, for Linda today. She needs your healing. She needs uh, victory over depression. We pray for Josh and Alan, Ashley and Dawson, Charles, Frank, William and Dana, and so many others who are battling with addiction today. I pray for Ricky, Lord, for victory over nicotine that he desires today, God. We pray for revival in our community and in every community. We believe for the safe return of every prodigal in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless our missionaries today, our North American and global missionaries, each one whose names we've called out today, and the pastors of this new daughter work, this new Spanish work in Burns Mill. God, we pray for them today as well. We pray protection upon the Tomyevs and Pattersons. We pray, God, for blessing financially 
for all of our missionaries and especially for Joshua and Elena Tinsley who are on deputation right now. Lord, move in our service with them this Sunday. Hallelujah. We pray for people to be filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized in your name. For there to be a spiritual breakthrough in someone's life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for those who are being persecuted for their faith in many nations around the world right now, especially in Myanmar and India, Pakistan and Papua New Guinea. Lord, cover them today. Hallelujah. In the shadow of your wings. We pray, God, for those who are experiencing uh, turmoil on their job and even displacement and needing new uh, employment. We believe for them today, God, for those who just lost their jobs in the Tyson Foods plant closure in Dexter. We pray, God, for each of them today to be able to find employment uh, that will be better than what they even had before. We pray for our military personnel and their families. Lord, we lift up those who are in nursing homes today. We, we believe, God, for each of these unspoken needs that we've mentioned today to be met. We give you the praise and the glory for all these things. Hallelujah. Lord, you've heard every health need we've mentioned today. And we know, God, that you're going to move in these situations. For Meredith, for Marshall and Robin, for Cheryl Ogden and Cheryl LaChance, for Sheila Sadler and Shirley Perkins, Jessica O'Hara and uh, Janet, Judy Weaver's brother, Chris and Carrie, George Tibbs, Doug Seaball, Mara Sullivan, Devin Huff, Michelle Clark, Judy Cookson's granddaughter and great-granddaughter, uh, Marshall Link. We believe for all of these needs today. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for Rose and June and for Sister Judy's mom dealing with arthritis pain. We believe for Sammy, Sheila, Chris, and Renee for healing of mobility issues. We pray, God, for relief from back pain for Jennifer, for Melena, for Lori, Michael, Terry, Johnny, Brianna, Pam's daughter, Jenny, Cindy Page, Britt Moore, Bob O, Rebecca Williams, Becky Wilson, and Carolyn Rogers. We pray for Sally today, Lord. We're praying that uh, she would not have pain with this tooth today. We pray for pain relief for Ann Harbin and Elaine Wilfong, for Diane, for Judy Cookson, each of these ladies going through physical therapy right now. We pray, God, you would strengthen them. We believe for healing for Ben Ramey's stepdad, Tom, today. We pray for your healing touch for Melena's mom and for Vivian, for Johnny's mom and for Christian's friend's dad suffering with dementia. Those with migraines today need your touch. Touch Beth and Marcia, Melena and Marcia's co-worker's son. We pray for Venus today. God, that you would deliver her from these reoccurring headaches. We pray for Chase and Sherry. You see, Lord, their dire situation with these liver problems. You see Dave and Oscar struggling with kidney problems today. You see Tracy Powers today battling illness and, and with this long uh, work commute each and every day that she needs uh, her house to sell so that she can be closer uh, to her employment. We pray for Sarah and Marty and Riley, believing for healing of illness for them as well. We lift up Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian. We pray for Russ and for Beulah, for my dad and for Kristen's friend, Matt, for Joey Etheridge and Tim Work Workman, knowing, God, that you're able to heal Parkinson's disease. It is with your stripes that we are healed, and we thank you for it today. We thank you for the promise of your word. Hallelujah. We believe for Carol and Regina and Bob to be healed of shingles. We pray for those who are battling with lung conditions. Uh, touch Carolyn and Kareem, Gary Lee and Rebecca Rush, Gary Shepard, Kendra Ortiz and Robbie Northrup, as well as those who are battling with COVID and RSV. Those who uh, are, have flu today, God, we pray for healing for each of them as we enter into this season of the year where these kind of uh, sicknesses uh, are common. We pray, God, for uh, healing for each one that's dealing with sickness right now. We pray for healing for those with heart issues. Touch Michelle Strain's mother and Jimmy Warren, Dawn and Betty, Bud Taylor, David Duggar, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Mike Sappington, Blaine and Kenny, Brother Mark Morris, Kelly B. We pray for Cheryl Chance and for Brenda Ward, for Gold Mitchell, and for Holly, for Amy Dees. 
Lord, we lift up today Herman Prince, oh God, in that hospital today. We pray, God, you would reach down and touch him and minister a healing touch to him, God. He needs your touch, Lord. We pray against the pain that he was experiencing yesterday so strongly, God. We know that you're able to raise him up. You've done it before, and you're able to do it again. We believe for healing today of stomach issues for Wanda, for Sandra, for Michael, for Olivia, for Natalie, for Aubrey, and for Savannah, for Amber Kay, and Star, and Chloe, and for Heather. We believe for healing of diabetes today for myself and for Lola, for Grady and Holly, for Natalie, for Rose and Becca and Jr. We pray for Emily Stanley and Michael Williams, Anthony Williams, Steve Cummins, Tim Workman, Cindy and Lloyd, Christian and Titus, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl and Brother Pulliam. You are able, God, to heal completely today. We praise you for our healing today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for those who are battling cancer. Reach down today and help those who are going through chemotherapy. We lift up Jordan and Julia today. We pray for Jamie Joe's grandfather, for Gladys and for Donna, for Ari Bowers and for Betty, for Daniel Dickinson, for Marcia's friend's grandparent, for Scott Lucia, Michelle Strain's sister Cindy, Alice Elizabeth, Claire, Dwayne, Sherry, Dennis Phelps, Heather, Diane, Cheryl, Kenny Burns, Sherry Wilson, and Amy Dees. We believe for Virginia and Darla as they're going through their precautionary treatments today that they will be strengthened, Lord, and that their cancer will remain in remission in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for continued recovery for each of these that we have mentioned today. Regardless of what circumstances set them back today, God, you are able to set them up for their future. Hallelujah, we believe, God, that for complete restoration, that they'll be able to return to their jobs, that they will be able to return, Lord, to uh, their normal activities uh, in Jesus' name. Help them today, God, to continue to believe and trust in you, Lord, to deliver them from their affliction. For your word tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but that you deliver us out of them all. Hallelujah. We give you the praise for these things, God. We applaud you today, God. You are King of kings and Lord of all lords. You're ministering to these children this morning. We thank you for it. We believe for a miracle for J.C. On and for these other children today, Lorelei and Jenna and Tucker battling childhood cancer, Baby G, uh, Abram, Abel, Tano, Brantley, Elsie, Abby, and Gus's grandson, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy's granddaughter, Emily, Elise, Bailey May, each of these today, we believe for complete healing for them. We believe for Arlo, for his healing. We pray for his upcoming surgery, that it would go well. We pray for Ginger Williams, who's having gastric bypass and hernia repair coming up in just uh, less than two weeks. God, we pray that you would minister to her and that you would keep her, Lord, and protect her through these procedures. We lift up Keith today, praying for good results from his tumor biopsy. We pray for Paul Swinney and Lois Link who are facing back surgery. Eddie facing surgery for his open hip wound very soon. My Uncle John going in for surgery today for triple bypass, uh, open heart surgery today. God be with him. Be with Aunt Melba today with their children. God, keep your hand upon this family and strengthen them today. Guide the surgeon, we pray, and that surgical team this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord, for hearing our petitions today. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for caring for us. We give you the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for Regina, God. You see her brokenhearted state today. And with this anniversary of her son's death uh, tomorrow, we pray, God, you would just be with her and comfort her and give her strength to get through that difficult day. In the name of Jesus, have your way in us today. God, lead us today. Direct us, and we praise you for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, prayer team. Uh, we'll see you again here on Monday on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. Have a great weekend. I pray God's blessings on everyone's uh, church services, and I know God is going to do amazing things in each of our lives. God bless you. I'll see you Monday.